The hashtag Igbo must go protest continues to fester on social media. A recent X Spaces conversation tagged Yoruba Ronu space, led by purported Yoruba influencers, called for an Igbo must go protest. One of the contributors stated that Igbos are disrespecting their traditional rulers and have no right owning land in Lagos. We need to come out and protest. Igbo are disrespecting our institution, they disrespect our traditional ruler, they disrespect all our, all our headers, and they can't take it in their own space. Therefore, we must not fold our hand. I just have to tell everybody this. This protest, your Igbo must go, and the scrap of a uh, of, uh, unitary system is a must, and it's coming, and it's going to be loud. It's going to, whoever that want to die should go and die. It's in our space. This is the, our heritage, this is the land our father fought for. And we will not allow anybody, no matter how many acres of land you buy, it is our land. And your land, your purchase land have expired time. Therefore, you cannot claim ownership. So thank you, uh, uh, Madam Majoka. Now this is horrible, condemnable. But also an Igbo influencer responded to this particular video. Let's take a listen to what he said. Some Yoruba bigotries are asking the Igbos to leave Lagos. But I want to ask this question. Why do you guys hate Igbos? Why is it that almost all the tribes in Nigeria are against Igbo people? What did Igbo do now? For the fact that they are hardworking and possessive is not their fault. That has been the way they are created. Anywhere they enter, they develop that place. Let me tell you, Anywhere you go and you don't see an Igbo man, that place is a sinking place. If Igbo people leave Lagos, Lagos is gone. Just tell me one Yoruba person who has a prominent establishment in Lagos. 90% of the businesses that generate revenue for Lagos are all owned by an Igbo man. And big houses and estates are owned by Igbos. When you guys were selling your lands to Igbos, you didn't think of the future. Now you are coming back to ask the people you sold your land to, to leave the land. My dear, you are joking. And the thing is that the more you guys are hating the Igbos, the more they are exploring and progressing. If you check where this protest has been going on, the Igbos has been keeping quiet. Oh yes. Because when they protest, you people will start working against them. You don't like the Igbos, yet you don't want them to separate from Nigeria. My dear, what is your problem? Waiting for a problem. Look at Namdi Kanu, who has been kept hostage in the DSS custody for no reason. For no reason. Pass your judgment. No. Release him. No. All I see is discrimination. Igbos are being treated unjustly in Nigeria. But one thing that gives me joy is that Igbos are following you guys with intelligence and diplomacy. A time will come when all those, all those tribes working against the Igbos will start working against themselves. Which is even happening now. It's happening now. Nigeria will never get better if you people are still discriminating the Igbos because they are the pillars of the country's revenue. In any country where there is tribal discrimination, that country never progress. Ask questions. Oh, yes. Yeah. If you both leave Lagos, you will not be able to repair your car All right. because there will be no, uh, there will be no uh, uh, spare parts dealers. Yeah. If you both leave Lagos, you will not be able to buy electronics. If you both leave Lagos, half of the banks in Lagos, we live.